As many of you already know, Gurren Lagann is in my opinion the greatest anime ever created. And I hail Imaishi, former Gainax team member and current Studio Trigger team member, as sort of our anime savior. But that's certainly not to say all of his work is for everyone who likes anime. I feel like you have to be a certain type of weird to appreciate Imaishi's early work. Imaishi was like this rabid dog kept behind a fence his whole life until someone let him off the chain and he killed all the neighbor's dogs. Well, that's the best way I can describe Imaishi's crude and chaotic 2004 directorial debut, Dead Leaves. If you're a guy with a TV forehead or even just a level-headed human being who enjoys Imaishi's work, you probably went, lol, I love weird Japanese shit, but also, you know, I appreciate this highly stylized anarchic animation from a guy who clearly disagrees with the box Japanese society wants you to be put in. Or maybe you just grew up with Eva and fully coolly and the extent of your connection to Imaishi is your 15 year old self going, what the hell did I just watch? Either way, hopefully you gave Die Buster a chance if you watched my video on that series, or maybe Imaishi's 2013 Kill la Kill masterpiece has convinced you that you do love poignant but wacky Japanese anime as an adult and you want some more of it. But it's 2019 and the current out with the provocative shit-talking Powerpuff Girls Imaishi and in with the family-friendly hyper CG animation Imaishi has culminated a reasonable mix of his work fit for the masses in the theatrical spectacle known as Promare. So maybe you've been a huge fan of Trigger Conductor Imaishi since day one, or maybe you've just bought a ticket. Regardless, I'm happy you've jumped aboard the Imaishi Express even though you haven't the slightest idea of where the hell this madman's destination is. Imaishi is in the spotlight again, which has his fans returning to older series and probably even Imaishi himself returning to older series. During a 2019 Promare interview, Imaishi was quoted saying that if he were able to work on an older property again, as in another season, it would be 2010's Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt. And since I've always been dying to watch this series in its entirety, and I'm currently going through the entire Gainax library, in today's video I'll be unboxing some of the rarest limited edition panty and stocking items in Japan, including the limited forever bitch edition Japanese Blu-ray, so I can glue my eyeballs to the screen and give stocking my full unadulterated attention. I'd say Maishi carried over the cartoonish characters and heavy black strokes from Dead Leaves to Slutty Powerpuff Girl, I mean Panty and Stocking, in a fitting way. Panty and Stocking are clearly influenced by Western cartoons, and as you can see from this rare Imaishi and Gainax superhero tribute art book, it's safe to say they're a big fan of Western media. After Gurren Lagann, Imaishi and the gang took a break. They went on a well-deserved vacation, and they drank a lot. How else are you supposed to come up with an anime about two wildly colorful bad bitches who flaunt their lingerie and also turn them into weapons? Well, remember that ridiculous Adult Swim sitcom drawn together that you definitely shouldn't have been watching as a kid? You know, because it was a mockery of mass murders, racism, homophobia, and every taboo subject imaginable? Hmm, I wonder why it got cancelled again? Well, yeah, anyways, Trigger's Wakabayashi cited that show's adult humor and inspiration for Panty and Stocking, which is the type of humor that I personally promise you the average Japanese person would hold very, very much disdain for. And I sit before you with a Blu-ray title that could only spawn from the influence of Adult Swim. The limited Panty and Stocking Forever Bitch Edition Japan-only Blu-ray, which has box art drawn by Atsushi Nishigori, character designer for the show, and one of my favorite artists. He really has some beautiful Panty and Stocking pieces in this art book of his I own, and has some of the most beautiful Sakuga in the show as animation director for episode one. This Japanese Blu-ray is supposed to include all versions, both dubbed and subbed, meaning I get to enjoy a high quality version of the dub, and I almost never watch dubbed anime. So far, like DBZ and Space Dandy have been major exceptions for me, but I watched five minutes of the PSG sub and dub, and the dub killed it. Like I was cracking up because the jokes are making fun of American culture, meaning they work so much better dubbed. I promise you, try both, and I think you'll end up watching the dubs, even if you're a hardcore subbed fan like I am. I really think you'll love the dub, and, and that's especially also because it has been influenced by the stuff on Adult Swim. 
The Blu-ray also includes no credit opening and endings, a special 16 page color booklet, a live mix done by DJ friend of mine Taku Takahashi, and I also believe there is some sort of documentary. Really, it's a beautiful set. I wanted a high quality Blu-ray of the show with the dubbed version, and I think I got just that in this very, very pricey box set. Next up, I bought the PSG original soundtrack produced by Taku not only to support a friend, but I love the cover art on this thing so much. I've of course heard plenty of the tracks. You've probably seen me and Teddy Lloyd on Instagram. He's made a lot of these tracks with Taku, so I'm probably going to enjoy the whole thing. And there's also another album from the series that I'm planning on buying as well. Then I got a few rare pins that I believe were from Galaxy times Gainax collabs. Galaxy, a famous Japanese fashion brand who has also done Gurren Lagann collabs. But these pins do have the official Gainax seal of authenticity on them and they are pretty hard to find, but they're so gorgeous I had to find them. And finally, I have wanted this figure for so long without even seeing the anime because it's just that beautiful. Gainax altar figures have this prestigious air about them, or at least from my perspective they do, since Alter's Yoko Littner has always been one of the most sought after figures for figure collectors and is my personal favorite figure pretty much of all time. Fly away now, fly away now. This 1 8 scale stocking with the Gainax seal of authenticity on the front has been beautifully sculpted by Yagyu Toshiyuki. And without even watching the show, you can tell from her smug facial expression that even though a skin tight dazzling frilly Lolita dress is squeezing up her bust, this character still has a super punk attitude. There's not much cute about her. Nishigori's character design lends itself to such a magnificent figure and as far as my personal favorites go, this one is definitely up there and I'd personally like to think that I have pretty good taste in figures. After spending countless weekends in Akihabara, you can certainly distinguish the extraordinarily sculpted and painted from the average. The attention to detail is amazing from her bright blue pantsu down to the ruffles on her stockings. Stocking has a very pleasing color palette as well. The inner pink highlights make the massive blue structure that is her hair wrapping around her body really pop rather than being too one dimensional. Her big bow, the tiny blue hearts, even the rings around her wrist, and the detail on her stomach all accentuate this super powerful dress. Hats off to Alter, amazing job for such an old figure. It definitely hurts me to remove the tape on this one. Brand new, this cost me quite a hefty penny 
but I'm definitely proud to have her in the collection and I hope I get some great shots of her for you guys. If you're a big Gynax or Trigger fan, I'd love for you to subscribe and let me know what you think of Pantheon stocking in the comments because I'm about to watch it. And did you watch it subbed or dubbed? Comment below, I'll be taking some really pretty shots if I can of this stocking figure and you can find them on Instagram at soul underscore animation. And you can join our Discord if you'd like to do that, link will be in the description. Thanks for watching. This is so 2005. <laughs>